Okay, some of you guys are probably wondering why am I making a video response to the likes of this guy who looks like a fat, obese, unhealthy version of that of Thunderfoot. The answer is, I'm a glutton for punishment. You know, I want to see on how far I can go without losing my fucking mind. This is the third part of the fuck John Henry saga. Let's. I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. Well, I know I don't read game magazines or didn't when I did read game magazines or the sites I, for the game reviews anyway. I'm going to look at the pretty screenshots and be jealous about the shit that I can't buy. And then of all things, one of these people, one of these guys, I posted, I posted a status message. First thing I had said about it publicly the other day, uh, yesterday on my Facebook page, basically saying, you know, here's what I think of Gamergate. Fuck you, you insecure, perpetual virgin douchebags. Yeah, that seems to be the typical response from that of a typical SAW. Fuck you, you're wrong, and I'm right. And nothing you you say can change that. <laughs> Bravo. Comes to shove that you're actually someone who is, I don't know, reasonable. That's what I think of Gamergate. And of course, somebody wants to respond and they want to go into this, oh, well, it's about the journalistic ethics. And the guy links me to a story on Breitbart.com, for Christ's sakes. I mean, this is like, you know, the walking, living example of complete lack of journalistic ethics for the last 20 years. This is the guy that brought James O'Keefe to the world, for Christ's sakes. It's like learning about, you know, how to be sober by going to the bar. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. And if you don't know that, and if you don't take that seriously, you are in no position ever, ever, ever to go lecture anybody else about journalistic ethics. Then this applies to you too, because you know nothing about journalistic integrity. For the past two videos that I've made about you, You've done nothing but show stupid, stupid shit on how Gamergate is all about Zoe Quinn and blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. You know nothing about journalistic integrity. I study this shit in case that goes by people and I'm just some dickhead running his mouth on a camera. No, you fucking haven't. No, you have not. Truly have Fucking not. Let me explain to you. You basically said that Gamergate started out with this guy who's just all jealous about Zoe Quinn and wants to ruin Zoe Quinn's life. And, and thus, you know, hashtag Gamergate is all about harassing Zoe Quinn and not about journalistic integrity. When in, re in reality... It never was about Zoe Quinn. Yeah, Zoe Quinn may have start, you know, spark the realization of corrupt journalism, but the majority of focus is on ethics in journalism, not fucking Zoe Quinn. I've made it my business and my time and my life over the last few years to understand how these things. I know where the Society of Professional Journalists Ethics Code website is. I've not just looked it up in Google and scanned it so I could win an internet argument. I had to write about it and learn it and understand why the ethics are the way they are and understand why there are the points that are made in that document, what they mean, why they're relevant, how they apply. I understand journalistic, journalistic ethics. This isn't about journalistic ethics. This is about trying to control women and be a dick. We already know up to this point that this is just total fucking bullshit because I've seen lots and lots of Google Hangouts with plenty of fucking girls. There's even a Google Hangout with only girls, for fuck's sakes. And, you know, keep in mind that there are lots and lots of female gamers who, who is in favor 
of Gamergate. And you're telling those women that they're trying to control other women. That we're, we're just wanting, we just want to control women. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes total fucking sense. So in the end, you've got these obnoxious, obsessive, creepy little douchebags who are artificially using this journalistic, journalistic ethics argument as a thin veneer to distract from their misogynist, aggressive, violent, rude, dangerous, and even life-threatening behavior. Yeah, because social justice warriors definitely don't do that, now do they? Because they don't want you to think about that. They don't want to think about it themselves. They don't want to keep go, oh, these are friends of mine. These people think and act the way I do. Maybe I'm part of the problem. You don't want to do that, so you distract. You know, I'm starting to notice something. Isn't this what this guy said in his previous video? Like, like this is his argument. You know, Gamergate just wants to oppress women. You know, I'm right, you're wrong, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm listening to a fucking broken record at this point. Like, do you think in the next video response that I'm going to, you know, make on him, he's going to say the exact same thing and I'm going to say the exact same thing? You know, because if he's going to do that, I might as well not make a video response at all. So when you start looking past all these bullshit arguments, you get back down to the reality. This is the reality of Gamergate. Some douchebag got dumped by his girlfriend or got his feelings hurt by his girlfriend. The douchebag decided that he was going to sick the internet on her in revenge. He did, and the internet, being the internet, responded with great enthusiasm. Yeah, he's repeating himself again. You know, the same bullshit argument. Seriously, why do you even need to make a six-part episode? You know, a six-parter? You know, repeating yourself over and over and over again. I mean, seriously, this is completely unnecessary. Either make your argument, you know, make a new argument, or don't make an argument at all. They harassed the shit out of her. They harassed the shit out of anybody who dared stand up and speak on her behalf. Yeah, because you did your fucking research, you know. It, we just... We just attack Zoe Quinn because she's a woman, you know. She slept around with a bunch of guys, and that's not cool, therefore she deserves to be attacked. And because she's a woman, well, we're attacking her because she's a woman, and not because she, you know, benefited from a lot of people who are close friends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Makes total fucking sense. You know what? At this point, he, he's, he's a broken record player. So, you know what? I'm going to do everyone a favor. For the next three episodes, every time he repeats himself, I'm just going to play this. Holy fuck is this wrong! Felicia Day, who's a well-known icon. I mean, she's the female gamer. You know, when you people who, are, who don't think about gaming and who don't think about this issue think about females in the gaming industry who are prominent, Felicia Day is the one that always comes up because she produces her own media. And she does a good job of it. And so people know who she is, and that's fine. And she came out a few days ago, and she hadn't said anything either, by the way. And she hadn't said anything because she was afraid to say anything. And sure as shit, an hour after she did, here's some asshole posting her home address on the internet. And it has to be from Gamergate and no one else, right? Right? Tell, tell me, go ahead, tell me right in the fucking face that this is, this is what Gamergate's all about. Go ahead, I fucking dare you. Gamergate. And then I'm supposed to go, oh, well, yeah, but let's get into a subtle and nuanced argument about the balancing equivalencies between the two sides. No, there are no two sides here. There are no two sides. You don't get to fucking impose some sort of noble cause on top of a shit show just because you don't want to deal with a shit show. In other words, if you're not a feminist, you're a bigot. There is no noble purpose here. There is no movement here. There's a bunch of whining little maggots 
sitting in their basements, pissed off because they can't get laid and attacking women. What a brilliant ad hominem right there. Really, fucking really. That's a beautiful ad hominem. I haven't seen that one coming, you know. That's, you know, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Nice ad hominem. Nice. That's what we have going on here. And that, whether you like it or not, that is what people attach to the word Gamergate. That is what your little hashtag means to that part of the world that doesn't live inside your own mind and in your computer in some fantasy world someplace. Why the fuck do I even bother with this fucking asshole? I am the Atheist Gamer. Stay tuned for part four. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.